I'm going to show you here how to use the, uh, the page manager tool that allows you to move pages around on your website. If you go, if you're logged in as an admin and you go under the top under pages and then page position, here you'll see your whole website listed out with little arrows so that you can drill down to directories. Now if you simply just want to move some pages around, this is how they appear in the navigation bar and on the left and the top depending on how your site is set up. Um, let's say I wanted to take Heart Matters and move this up here under Postpartum. I would click right, I would select and hold and drag right to the middle, right underneath Postpartum, not on it, or not on the one below it, and you can see that by the circled um, nav there. You want to go right in the middle, right under it. And so it's going to ask you if you want to move it, and now you can see that Heart Matters is right under Postpartum Depression. We could take it again if we wanted to and move it above Postpartum. And there you can see it. Now if I wanted to make Heart Matters a child page of postpartum, meaning that they're related, you click on it again, but this time you would hold and drag directly onto the, to the item. And now you can see Heart Matters is a child subpage of postpartum depression. So that's how this works in here. Now you could move entire directories by clicking on the directory itself and moving Find the doctor into medical services if you want. Um, we're not going to do that here. Be careful. <laughs> and there's other things we can do in here as well. If you clicked archive or one, any of these um, parent categories, for example, you could also sort pages alphabetically. And what this will do is whatever you're selecting here, it will reorder all of this, the child pages to be alphabetical. I'm not going to do that in this case, but it would go, you know, A, B, C, D, etc. Um, from the same section, you could also edit the page, um, edit the settings, view the page. Uh, you could create a new page if you wanted to. So I select a new page and it automatically creates Pro News Test as the parent. Um, so automatically, that's just kind of a nice shortcut as a way to do it. You could also delete the page if you know, oh, there's some junk in here we need to get rid of. Select on it and hit delete. Um, like I said, you can edit the settings or edit, actually go to the page and edit the modules as well. So it's a very powerful tool. Um, again, that's up here under pages, page position. Okay, here I'm going to show you how to create an anchor link. What an anchor link is, is it takes some copy or a link or a graphic or a button and links it from links it from one place on the page down to another pay place uh, kind of a quick link down the page so in this case i'm going to turn the word computer into a link that when clicked takes the user way down here to this internet heading um, so what you want to do is go and edit the module and the first thing you do is you create your anchor link. So this is where I want to link the user down as an anchor. So I go and I click on this button here. This icon says anchor. And you give your anchor a name. It can be anything. I'm going to call it uh, internet because it matches the, the link. And you can see in the CMS, the editor adds a little flag next to it that lets you know visually that this is going to be an anchor. Now the end user doesn't see that, that's just in admin mode. Now the next step is to go up and find what you want to turn into a link. It could be text, like I said, a graphic, whatever it is. You highlight or select the, the word or image. Then you click on your link icon. And under link type, you want to select link to an anchor in the text. Um, and then from here, it's going to show you all the anchors that you've made on your page. Now, in this case, we just made one, but there could be a hundred of them in this list. So you select it. I don't need to worry about that too much. Hit OK. And now you can see that's a link. So when you hit Update and you click on the word computer, it takes the user down to here. Now, you're wondering, well, why did it put Internet right at the top of the page? It's because this is as far down as the browser can scroll. So it's always going to take you just as far as you need to go down. Um, but it won't but it won't go too far. So here it's taking us down so that we can clearly and easily see the internet heading and the content under it. And so that's how you create anchors.